Hey guys, Harden Internet here, back again with another video. You guys see the wrestling arena in the background, which means it's another collection update video. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys my collection for August 2015. Before I do that, I'm going to show you guys my new arena I got. This is the first Elite Skill ring. The Raw Edition has the red ropes and also an old ring apron. I actually like this arena a lot better because this is the arena uh, back in 2008 when I first started watching wrestling. So it just kind of brings me back a little bit. I also got this arena in the box for 50 bucks on eBay. So that was a really good deal. So I went ahead, grabbed that, and I got it. I want to say maybe about a couple weeks ago. But I have never got a chance to unbox it until today. So let's go ahead and jump right into the collection video. Um, so let's start off with Elite 32 Sin Cara. I picked this up at Walmart not too long ago. Unfortunately, its coat has some paint marks on it. Well, not paint marks, like some paint uh, missing. Unfortunately, that, that's how I got it. Uh, that's kind of one of the reasons why I hate these plastic silicone, uh, basically anything, jackets, shirts, because just the graphics just come off so easily. I just missed a cloth that Mattel used to do. Uh, next, we have ringside exclusive Brock Lesnar. Make sure you pick up this figure, by the way, because this figure is rare now because ringside no longer sells this figure. So be sure to pick it up on eBay or anywhere. Uh, I think it goes for around like 40 bucks now, and that's how much it costs loose. I remember this figure was like 25 bucks when I had it, um, like a couple months ago, or maybe like six months ago. Anyway, next I have Elite 31, The Usos, Jimmy and Jay. Nice figures. I really hope to see more Elite Usos in the future, but of course, they are er, they are injured right now, so we're not going to see more uh, Elite Usos for a while. Next, for my previous video, Elite 35, Luke Harper. Pretty decent figure. Kind of wish he came with a better accessory. Uh, next, I have a figure I recently got on eBay. Uh, Mr. Perfect Elite with the Intercontinental Championship title. Really nice figure. Really like this one. Probably one of my favorite flashbacks that I have in my collection right now. I got him with another figure too on eBay. And I'll show you guys that figure uh, soon. Uh, next, I have Elite 29 CM Punk. Picked this up at Target a couple days ago. Fortunately, his arms are really, really stiff. So like you really can't move him that much. But... Pretty nice figure. I don't know. I think this is kind of like the weakest out of all the Punk figures. Punk, CM Punk is not for like those, uh, these really good Elite figures. I think they've all been pretty good, but I think that's like one of the weakest ones. You know, I think Elite 17, Elite 20, the All-Stars, it's, there's so much better than that one, but that's the only one I can get right now. So, uh, next up I have, let's see, this one, Elite 34 Hulk Hogan. I did a, what's it called? A hunting video and I picked this up there when Elite 34 first came out back in May. Uh, next, I have Hall of Fame uh, Yokozuna. Really nice figure. Really happy we got another Yokozuna figure. Picked up a couple of these just for the belts. So make sure you do that if you're looking for tag team titles. I still think Elite 17 Yokozuna is better, but this one's really cool. Like I said, I'm really happy we got another Yokozuna figure. So, yeah, up next we have Elite 34 X Pac. This is a nice figure. I picked this up at Walmart a couple of days ago. So, yeah. Um, next we have. Elite 36 Stardust, nice figure. I did an unboxing of everyone at Elite 36, so be sure to check that out. Uh, next, I have Elite 21 or 22 Ryback. This is a really nice figure. Got this in the mail a couple days ago, along with another figure, which I'll show you guys later on in the video. Next, I have Elite 34 Russo with a face swap for this basic one. This is actually from the two pack. I swapped it out because my Elite 34 uh, Russo had like a big gash on his eyebrow, so. It was really bothering me, and also his hair was kind of discolored on my, on mine, so I did a face swap on that one. Uh, next, I got this from a consignment sale, along with a bunch of other figures I'll show you guys later on. Uh, I want to say this is Elite 6 or Elite 8, I'm not sure. Matt Hardy, really nice figure, really like this one. Actually, I don't know, I don't know if this is Elite 2, because I know they have Elite 2 Matt Hardy, and I know they have an Elite 6 or 8, I'm not sure which one this is. I think this one might be 2, I don't know. Um, Next, we have uh, Elite... 32 Blutista. I picked this up a couple days ago. It's an okay figure. I, I really hated Batista's attire when he uh, came back to the WWE. I just hated his figures too. I, I much rather prefer the old Batista figures over the new ones any day. Uh, next we have another figure I picked up from a consignment sale. All-Stars Stone Cold. Really awesome figure. Unfortunately, he has like a little black spot right here in the back of his head. But I got this for a pretty good deal. And But uh, unfortunately, he's missing his hat, which really sucks because... It's really hard to find a hat on eBay because I couldn't find it anywhere. Next, I have build a figure Corporate Kane. I got this when I got the four figures from the Best of Pay-Per-View or WrestleMania 30 uh, Toys R Us series. 
Uh, next, I have um, Four Horsemen, Ric Flair. I did an unboxing of this guy along with the other three. So be sure to check that video out as well. Next, I want to say this is Elite 35 Earthquake. Really nice figure. I got this quite recently. So, yeah, I think it's like one of my first like big figures that like doesn't have like a really loose waist. Because you guys know like Elite Big Shows and like Big E's and... You know, Andre the Giants, like, their waists are really, really loose for some reason. Um, next, I have Elite 32 Roman Reigns with the Tag Team Championship belt. Pretty nice figure. And also Elite 32 Seth Rollins. Can't wait for these two guys to get their new elites. Can't wait for Elite 37 Rollins and Elite 38 Reigns. Speaking of the Shield, we also have Elite 31 Dean Ambrose with the U.S. belt. Really awesome figure. I want to get a, a basic Ambrose and uh, swap this head out because I don't like this face skin. So I'm going to do that whenever I get the money and get the chance to. Up next we have, let's see, well, Elite 36, Bo Dallas. I did an unboxing. Like I said, Elite 36. Be sure to check that video out. Uh, Elite 32, um, Cesaro. It's an okay figure. I still think the other figure is a lot better than that one. And also, hopefully, Mattel gives us a new Cesaro figure by the end of the year. That'll be awesome. Late 27, Fandango. Nice figure. Unfortunately, I got this. It's um, waist. Or not waist. Its chest is very loose. So that was really disappointing right there. I was kind of mad about that. I really, I really hate loose joints. To me, it's really annoying when I get them. Next, Elite 32, Big E. Intercontinental belt. Pretty awesome. I, still, I think Elite 26, Big E is a lot better than that one. But, uh... Next, Elite 36, uh, Darren Dallas Page. Like I said, I did unboxing this figure. I actually really like this figure. Really nice figure on Mattel. Up next, we have WrestleMania 30, build a figure. Corporate Kane set, Bray Wyatt. Nice figure right there. I, I think, I still think Elite, what's the other one? The first one, Elite, uh, I can't remember the number. I think 28, I want to say. I, I, th I think that's the second best Bray Wyatt, and I think this one here is the third best. I think Elite 36 was the best one, and in my opinion. I thought that was really nice. And Yeah, so next we have my favorite figure, 2014, Rocky Maivia. Uh, I actually went to a Target about an hour away from my house. Uh, or I was actually an hour away from my house, and I stopped by a Target, and they also they actually had this figure in stock. I don't, I don't ever find these figures. I know some of you guys say that you find these figures all the time. I don't, but no, I did not drive an hour, you know, an hour away from my house to get that figure. I just saw it to be in the area, and I went to Target, and, it found, I, and I found it. Uh, next, I have Best of Pay-Per-View, Alberto Del Rio. This is from Payback with the World Heavyweight Championship. That's actually a very nice figure. I, I really do miss Alberto Del Rio. Next, we have another consignment sale figure, Elite Vladimir Kozlov. Unfortunately, he's missing his red uh, robe piece, or uh, the, the tie, the tie of the rope together. But overall, it's a really nice condition figure. The face scan is kind of crappy, though. Um, next I have, let's see, WrestleMania 30, um, best pay-per-view, build a figure, Daniel Bryan, Twizzlers exclusive, that's right there, I think that right there is probably the best Daniel Bryan figure we've had in a while, I think the recent Daniel Bryan figure has been kind of suckish, but that one, that's a really good figure, I really like that one, and I can't wait for a new one too, so we actually get into like a new face scan, because I swear every Daniel Bryan figure has the same face scan, just with like different, like amounts of hair and like a different amounts of beard. Um, next I have one of my personal favorite figures, All-Star CM Punk. I got this at a consignment sale with the Elite One t-shirt. Really awesome figure. Uh, pretty good condition. Unfortunately, it's boots. Uh, do have a little bit of yellowing right there on the bottom, but I can easily color that in to fix it. I just haven't gotten a chance to do so. Uh, next we have, let's see. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what set this came from. I think it's a WrestleMania 30 set from Walmart, but, um... Elite Bret Hart. I know Shawn Michaels came. They also had a Shawn Michaels version of this uh, in the same set. I'm not sure exactly what set this came from, but I actually got this with Mr. Perfect from eBay for a pretty decent deal. Um, next, we have... Let's do this one. Elite 34 Bad News Barrett. Really awesome figure. Uh, hopefully, you get a King Barrett Elite figure. That would be awesome as well. Uh, next, I have the Hall of Fame Hulk Hogan. I actually highly recommend you go pick this up, pick up this figure now because, um, you know what happened to Hulk Hogan, and this this is just the last Hulk Hogan figure I believe we're gonna get. So make sure you pick this up before all the scalpers get him because I think he's going for like forty bucks right now on eBay, 
or you can just pick up in store for 20 bucks. That's your call on that. Uh, next, I have build a figure Ricardo Rodriguez with a microphone I gave him. Unfortunately, his pants come off very easily, so that's very unfortunate for Ricardo. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put him decapitated right over here. And here is Lana Battle Packs Lana, really nice figure. This actually has elite um, articulation, like on the legs and on the arms. So I do kind of consider this as an elite figure. Make sure you actually pick up this Battle Pack because I don't think we're gonna have another Lana figure anytime soon. So. Make sure you pick that one up. I got it today, actually. Okay, guys. Up next, I have Elite 3 Christian. Very nice figure. I really like this figure. I think it's very underrated. A lot of people really don't credit this figure uh, as much to do with other Christian figures. But this is a really nice figure. Uh, I got that at a consignment sale along with some other figures that are already in the pile. So, let's go with the next figure. Um, two more Four Horsemen. This is... Who is this? I think this is Arn Anderson, right? Is it? Yes, it is. And this is Toy Blanchard with the World Tag Team belts that I gave him. Pretty nice. Up next, we have Elite 23 or 22. Uh, Tenzai recently picked this up for a pretty decent deal, along with the Ryback on eBay. Next, I have. Let's see. I'm not sure what Elite series this came from, but this is a nice figure. Sheamus. The, oh, with the WWE Championship. That's a really nice figure right there. Next up, I have Defining Moment Sting. This Everyone loves this figure, and I really don't blame him. This is a very nice figure. Possibly the best figure of 2015, in my opinion. But we will have to see what Elite 37, 38, and possibly 39 has to offer to us. Up next, I have Elite WrestleMania 30 Undertaker. Nice figure. Uh, I think this was part of the Corporate Kane set. So, yeah, next I have Elite 34 Page. I really wish Mattel made more Divas because, you know, this is a really nice figure. Very detailed. The accessories that came with it. The accessories that came with it are very nice. And just, I really wish Mattel would make at least one Elite Diva, maybe with, you know, every three Elite sets. You know, give us some Divas, like the Bell Twins. Like, how come they're not Elites yet? I, I honestly have no idea at this very day. Uh, next, I have Elite 36 Gold Dust. I like said, check out that video where I unboxed it all. Uh, next, one of the four horsemen, Barry Windham. That's a pretty nice figure. I think it's probably my least favorite out of the four. But uh, yeah, be sure to check out that video where I unboxed those four as well. Up next, I have uh, WrestleMania 30. This pay per view toys are exclusive. John Cena. I gave him a microphone because he, I felt like he was lacking accessories. I don't think this came with a dog tag. Did anyone let me know? Because I thought it did. But I don't know. I'm not sure if it did now. Uh, next, I have a figure I recently picked up, Defining Moments Hulk Hogan. I picked this up at Walmart, like I said about Hulk Hogan. Be sure to pick them up because, like I said, they're not going to be selling any more Hulk Hogan's. They're not going to be restocking Hulk Hogan anymore. So be sure to pick up your Hulk Hogan figures uh, so that way you don't have to you know, pay eBay prices for them and eBay prices suck. Next, Elite 35, Los Mate Dores. Let me get the other one up right here. I don't know their names. I know one's Diego, one's Fernando, but I can't tell which one's which. They're way too identical. I know one's shorter than the other. Um, let's say the best three figures for last. Uh, Elite 36. Dean Ambrose did a video on this one. Unboxing. Be sure to check that one, this one out. Really nice figure, man. I really can't wait for Elite Seth and Elite, uh, and Elite uh, Roman Reigns. Those are going to be awesome. Next up. Hold on. This figure's accessories. That's falling apart. We have figure, another figure I picked up today. Defining Moments Razor Ramon. Really awesome figure. Very detailed. I really do like this figure. I can't believe I've never owned this figure before until today. So, I think I'm gonna pick that guy up and also Elite 36 Bray Wyatt. Also, here are the I guess five figures I'm kind of proud of. Here's my flashback Elite 13 Edge with the World Tag Team title, along with Elite maybe 18, I believe, or 22 Christian with the World Tag Team title. Those are really awesome figures. And last but not least, Elite 35 and Randy Orton with the Evolution shirt. Elite 35, Triple H with Evolution shirt, and Elite 2, Batista with Evolution shirt. Now, if you're wondering why I have Elite 2, Batista, I don't like Batista. I, didn't, I hate his attire when he first joined the WWE, or not when he first joined, when he first came back. So, I really wanted to get Elite 2, Batista, and just put the shirt on him rather than getting like an Elite 30, Batista. Even though, like I said, even though it is outdated, but I, I really do like this Evolution set that I created with the shirts I purchased. I, I didn't customize or anything, I just put a shirt on them, so I mean... 
yeah so anyway here are my accessories just take a look at them these are the accessories that all came with the figures i just couldn't put them on put them on them so yeah and this is actually my wrestlemania 30 uh 31 arena that I got from Toys R Us. so yeah guys that's my collection be sure to like comment subscribe a trade video will be up soon so i'm probably not gonna trade on this video but i'm getting more figures in so i'll put up a trade video soon so uh yeah be sure to check that out and i'll see you guys next time and be sure to subscribe like and favorite